I'm John McIntosh, and welcome to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Mark, and he wants to know, what can I do with interactive notifications on iOS 8? Thanks for the question. Apple first introduced push notifications all the way back in iOS 3, but they've remained largely unchanged since then. We did get Notification Center in iOS 5 as a way to organize notifications, but that's really been about it until now. This year, Apple introduced interactive notifications, which let a user quickly take an action when a push arrives. Previously, interacting with a push notification was a rather jarring experience that took the user completely out of the context of what they were doing and launched a separate app. Now, when a push arrives, you can swipe the push to reveal quick actions that can be taken immediately. For example, you could accept a calendar invite, favorite a tweet, or even respond to a text message. Here's how it works. iOS 8 adds two new concepts to notifications, actions and categories. An action simply defines an action that the user can take when the push arrives, and a category groups together a set of actions. So let's say that we're building a Twitter client, and we want to send a push notification each time our user is mentioned by someone else in a tweet. To make this interactive, we could add actions like reply, retweet, and favorite. We then group these together in a category, representing the choices the user can make when they're mentioned by someone else in a tweet. Push notifications are actually JSON formatted messages that are sent from the server to your device. The message contains certain information, like the title of the alert, the sound to play when the alert arrives, and the number to display on the app icon. Making an, a push interactive is really just a matter of adding that category that we set up a moment ago into the push notification. Now when the push arrives, our app will look up that category and find the three actions that we set up, reply, retweet, and favorite. So now when I swipe the notification, I can tap favorite and the app will be woken up in the background to perform the actual work of favoriting the tweet without ever taking me into the app. Notifications have come a long way this year and I, for one, am really enjoying the improved user interaction. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions with hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.